So I started off by saying, uh, welcome 60 Day to Diamond Push, all you guys. Um, thank you for joining me on the call tonight, um, as well as, as Amber. Um, I wanted to start, the, start this call like every other coach has, starting their team trainings, their calls, by saying I'm super excited about this call, but uh, I'd be lying. I actually was very super nervous about doing this call. I was supposed to teach you guys about the time management part. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know absolutely nothing about time management. I fought with myself on it. I said I can do it. Um, and then on Sunday, I just I, I texted Scotty. I said, Scotty, there's just no way I can do this. Um, I don't know enough about it. Um, so we are blessed that we have Amber um, going to do the call. She, my understanding, she has become a six-figure earner within one year. Uh, being a beach body coach and that is phenomenal so we're going to let her talk about time management because she has her family here uh, she takes care of her family plus um, running a full-time business and being very successful at it and doing it very quick um, so again I would be lying to everyone if I was to talk about time management because I don't know anything about it but me being a Star Diamond coach, I'm super excited because every day I get to learn stuff too. Um, there's never a day that I don't get to learn something. And so I'm excited to listen to this call, um, not just talking to it. I'm excited to learn from Amber as much as you guys are because I need to put in place time management in my life. And we'll get into to my life afterwards. But for now, I'm just going to make Amber the, uh, the present speaker. And hopefully everything works without blowing up on us. But again, thanks guys for joining us. And Amber. Okay. Bear with us because we've never done this before. I don't know if she has to. Start broadcasting or if anybody knows. Brigida. Anybody knows. Brigida. Out of there for a second. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Do I have to click okay, there you go. Do I have to click the Do I have to click the Oh my gosh, where's my video? Can you guys hear me but not see me? Under <laughs> options. Okay, but you can see me. Okay. I don't understand. It showed me it before. Okay, well, if you can't see me, is it going to, like, drive you crazy? It's going to probably drive me crazy, but... <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Um, wow, thanks for that introduction. I will say it did take me a little bit longer than a year to get up to six figures, but it definitely has... Um, it has gotten there and it seems incredibly overwhelming and crazy that it did. You know, um, I started coaching purely for the discount for five months. I was a discount coach and just, um, uh, just working on me and I just saw such great results. I mean, it was purely vanity at first, you guys. And then all of a sudden I was like, wow, this is changing everything. And so of course I started coaching and, um, what I want to talk to you guys about is how many of you guys start coaching, you have all this energy and exciting and um, energy and excitement, and then you go full speed and then you just like burn out and kind of crumble. <laughs> so um, let me just say that I definitely had moments in there where instead of being able to just kind of like slowly take it back, I would just be like, oh my gosh, I need to walk away for a minute. But with um, a lot of personal development and a lot of um, really figuring out how I can make this business work for me personally and make it fit with my life and my family life, then we were able to see that not necessarily slow and steady, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, slow, efficient, and steady is probably a better way to do it. I can't see your comments anymore because I opened it to full view, so um, if there's anything that... <laughs> Somebody feels like I need to know or say, then Sean, you can message me because you're on my, um, you're on my phone. Okay, so.
So I want to talk specifically about balancing for just a minute. Um, kind of that how to balance being full-time mom and having a full-time business. And I really shouldn't say full-time business, but full-time business income and a team, building that team. And I'm talking specifically to the moms here, but I don't want you guys, everybody here is busy, so this really applies to everybody. To start off, the picture I chose for the background is the leaders on my team. So this represents the 10 diamonds, the 10 lifetime diamonds on our team. I did not personally sponsor all of them. They are just leaders and my equal on Team Hope. Half of them are star diamonds, and most of them are already um, contributing financially to their families, if not largely contributing to their families. And the reason I wanted to pick this image, it's messy, there's a lot of us there, there's like all these kids and everything, is because that is who we are. We are seriously just moms, um, super busy, doing lots of other things, volunteering places, very, very busy, and yet we've taken the time to learn the business and to be leaders in the business. And that makes it so exciting. And so I just want you to see that through the chaos and everything that um, you can make this work. You really can make this fit in. And it is about being um, balanced. So I know people out there say things like, I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And we all kind of roll our eyes sometimes. And we're like, yeah, but you're blah, blah, blah. You're blah, blah, blah. If you're friends with me online and if you're friends with me on person, you know for sure that I am so flawed and I am so scattered and I'm, you know, crazy, but I made it work and you can make this work too. So the first thing that I want to talk about is being present. You can only do this if you know what your goals are. So take a minute and really talk it over with yourself. Like, what is your goal? I know that everybody in here is shooting for diamond right now. That's a great goal. I really think that that is the very first thing that you can do to really jumpstart your business. Um, so get there as fast as you can. That is definitely something that um, is worth sacrificing and getting to. But once you're there, think about, okay, what is the next step? Is it, I want to be making X amount of dollars by this date? Is it a different date in mind? Do you want a rank advancement? What is it that you really want? And what is it that you're willing to give up some of your personal and family time to accomplish? And once you've kind of figured that out, definitely include your spouse and even your kids in this. Um, my kids have known right from the beginning when I really started seeing um, the value of this business as far as making a real income, I shared it with them. I'm like, you guys, you know what? When I hit that $1,000 week, I'm taking this whole family to Disneyland. And um, they know that we're willing to sacrifice for Wesson, for his job, and for what he wants to do because he loves his job. He's a physical therapist. And that's, you know, that is there. But now they know that we get to have awesome vacations. They know a lot of the other benefits too, but I just wanted to share that. Sometimes it can be smaller than that with your kids. Like, if I can hit SC 5 or 10, like, let's go celebrate with ice cream, whatever. Sometimes it just helps to include them, you know? Anyway, I remember talking with Scotty Hobbs actually a few years ago. I was with my husband, and he asked us what our goals were. And I said something like, you know, I would love to make $1,000 a week. And he said, okay, what if it took you five years to make that? Would it be worth it to you? And I was like, hmm, would it be worth it to me? I was like, oh, my gosh, five years? That seems like forever. But um, the truth is five years is five years. Like, why not, right? Even if it's going to take that long. And what he's trying to say there, or at least the message I got there, is that, you know, plugging in every single day, you really feel like you work nickel and dime for nickel and dimes that first year because you can't really see the compound effect taking um, effect yet. But once it does, it really does escalate. And you have to be willing to put in the, that time before you can get there. Now, um, for me personally, I took that as, okay, my goal is that he just told me I could do it in five years. I could do it in one year, but I can choose what it is. And there are coaches that will sign up with you um, today. They could have signed up six months ago. They could sign up six months from now that will outrank and out earn you. And you just have to decide what is it that you want for you personally? How are you going to do this? 
Okay, so being present. Once you have that figured out, you now know that when you are with your family, you need to make that family time. And this is same with people, I guess, that you, you know, if you have work outside the home, but you are with your family. So when I'm playing with my kids and whatnot, my phone, my business is not next to me. If coaches need me and whatever, I don't even know that. Like until I log on, I'm not there. I am not at work, quote, you know. Um, you can't see me doing the quote thing, but I am. Um, at, but then on the flip side, when I move in to work and I open my computer and everybody, it's a pre-established time, I don't feel guilty. I'm not thinking about my kids in the other room. I'm not worrying that, oh, I didn't go with them to the movies tonight. I remember I gave myself this time. I owe it to me. I owe it to them. I owe it to all the people that I can help and that will help other people to use this time, to take the time. Now, that being said, how do we use that time? Because let's face it, time is precious. It is a uh, commodity. It is like my biggest thing I can give to someone is my time. So that moves me into learning how to say yes to the right things and no to the right things. Um, I should have swapped those around, but for saying no, I, I have learned that I really can't just like drop everything and go help everybody. I'm one of those people that is a, um, I'm addicted to like volunteering for stuff. And so I end up here and there and taking my kids here and there and doing things. And instead it's like reality check. Okay. What is it that's most important to this family? And business is obviously part of that discussion. And so we learn how to say no to the right things. I also learned how to say yes to things. Um, example, this call. This also makes me extremely uncomfortable being on um, a call. I guess in a way I'm kind of glad my video is blocked. But it is more about will that help me grow? Will that help me meet new people? Will that help me um, develop personally, professionally, as a mother, as a coach? Those are the things that usually make us feel a little uncomfortable, but also the things that I say yes to. Okay, now moving on, just post it. I am one of those people that wish that my newsfeed um, was perfect and that it actually reflected my life and that I was very put together and awesome, but that's just not the case. And to be honest, nobody would like that person, right? Um, that being said, whenever I'm crafting a post, especially if it is about the business, I am. Um, a perfectionist. I like stare at it forever and ever. And I can't even tell you how many minutes I've spent looking at the same post and then looking at the picture and then whatever. Just post the dang thing. And I'd be like, Weston, would you just come and read it one more time? I, I tweet this and that. And he would say, dude, get over yourself and post the post. Okay, so how does that relate to all this? Don't make that mistake. Nobody wants to see the perfect you or the perfect post. And that's something I've definitely gotten better at is just getting over myself and making the post and reaching people that way and not wasting time trying to be perfect, not waiting to invite people to something because I haven't crafted the perfect invite. Okay, the next thing is list it. I have a coach, Danielle Ray. She is amazing. And she, we were talking about this topic. She is also my workout buddy. So we were working out yesterday morning and I said, guess what? I'm going to be talking tomorrow night. And she gave me this uh, little thing that she does, which I thought was brilliant. She keeps a pad of paper next to her desk and a pad of paper next to her bed. So that when she is throughout the day, thinks of something that she needs to get done, she writes it on her list when she's lying in bed. How many of us lie in bed and you're like, Fred, I didn't do that one important thing I needed to. Or in my case, like five or six important things. And so you grab your list and you write it down instead of thinking, oh, I will totally remember that tomorrow. We don't know what he does. So just write it down. It can be a list that you could throw away the next day, but just write it down somewhere. And then this is the part, because we can all write lists, but this is the part I like, is she takes that list and she carries it in her back pocket all day long. So when she is in the carpool line waiting to pick up her kids from school, she can pull out that list and be like, hmm, I could totally check into these two groups right now while I'm sitting here. Check, check. Or if she's unloading groceries and her kids are, you know, in the backyard playing, she can say, okay, I can make this phone call right now. I have a minute. Check, check. Because a lot of us... Um, 
don't have the luxury of sitting down and being like, these are my work hours, you know? Even when I establish work hours, I get a lot of interruptions from, you know, my kids. And I'm usually like, uh, mommy's work hour, you know, or I can block them out. But in reality, how great would it be if you already had a bunch of stuff marked off that list? When it was time to sit on your computer, then you can do the things that you really need to sit down and do. Okay, limiting distractions. So here's the deal. I like to think that I am not, I do not have a Facebook problem. If I get on Facebook and my newsfeed is the first thing that pops up, I have a problem because I start scrolling, I click to this and that, I listen to this, I see what this person is doing, and pretty soon 20 minutes of my time has gone by, which that's not work. That does not count as work. And I'm like, yeah, but those are my coaches and those are some of the people in my challenge group. It's not work, okay? So what I actually did, and I don't even know how I did this because I probably asked somebody to do it for me, but I Googled some sort of thing you can download and put on Facebook. So when I open Facebook on my computer, it actually gives me zero news feed. I still have all my lists and all my groups and everything, but where my news feed would be, it just has this nice little banner that says, don't get distracted by Facebook. And um, that has actually been kind of annoying, but also been incredibly, incredibly helpful because I zone in and focus. So when I am on Facebook, on my computer work hour, I just go through my groups. And when it comes to notifications, I'm also super picky about the notifications that I click on. One, I don't have notifications turned on anything. Definitely take those off of everything. Okay, but when I get on my computer and I can see that little box up there, I, I scroll down, I make sure none of my challenge groups has tagged me in a post, just in case they're trying to get a hold of me or, or my coach group. And then I look to see, you know, my coach, Brigitte Linford, if she posts somewhere, I, I always go and read it. If it's in one of our coaching groups, I always go and read it because I know that what she's saying is probably important to me and my business, right? And also same with Scotty Hobbs when he posts in Team Dynasty. Those, those are the only two I look at. I mean, there are a lot of fabulous leaders out there, but those are the only two that I um, can really afford that time. And I mean, we're talking a minute. It takes me a minute to find what they said, and then I can move on. Um, so, so do that. Now, I also am a nursing mom. So when I'm breastfeeding my baby, I flip out my phone, and I scroll newsfeed then. So don't worry. I still get my Facebook fix, but I don't consider that work time. I don't consider that work time. Also, um, for a lot of you, and maybe I'm just, you know, just super flawed, but I like to think when my husband says, Hey, let's start this new series, you know, just bring your laptop. Or I think to myself, I'll just bring my laptop and work while we're watching this. Um, oh man, that's so, so bad. I, I, I don't get nearly the things done that I want to, and I could have gotten them way done a lot quicker. Okay. Instead of blaming my tiredness on you know, the business. And so what I actually did was I still have my laptop for traveling and for calls like this because I'm locked in my bedroom so kids can't come in here, um, is everything is on my desktop. So it's like when I'm working, I am in the office, in the zone. If there was a door that shut on that office, that's where I'd be right now. But unfortunately, it doesn't close. Not yet. Um, okay, and the next thing is listen. I think the biggest thing that has helped me as a leader and as a coach and as a mother has been personal development. And I actually do two kinds of development a day. I do personal development and professional development. So personal development is like the books that we read, helping us be better people. Professional development is listening to calls like this, team calls and the wake-up call and things like that. But I can never, I usually can never do anything in real time. I rarely log in live. Um, that doesn't mean it's not a priority to me. It means I can't get to it until I can give it my full attention, the attention that it needs. I have everything on my phone. The podcast, you can get all the wake-up calls through a podcast channel. And as well as all my personal development is in there. And it is already programmed so that I can flick in my Bluetooth um, headphones while I'm doing housework or while I'm exercising. And it's also piped right into my car. You can ask my kids how fun it is to drive with me, okay? Because I always have it playing. And I do have printed copies of books, but I only use them to find quotes so that I can post them or pass them along to the team. I will, I'll listen to a book like three times, love it, buy the book, and then really just use it for reference. But honestly, like, if, if you are struggling in any possible way, Personal development, personal development, personal development. 
I guarantee you that, that is why I'm still here, why I didn't give up any time that I was like, oh, this is getting a little bit too much for me to handle or I'm not seeing what I want to see yet, personal development, and then listening to it because then it, those are the thoughts that are in my head. All right, eat that frog. So if any of you have already read it, I apologize for the rest of you. I'm going to give you a 30-second quick rundown. If you knew at the beginning of your day that you had to eat a frog, are you the type of person that would just eat it and get it over with and get on with your day? Or would you kind of like eat pieces of it throughout the day? Gross, right? Or would you wait until the very end of the day? You see, the danger with waiting until the end of the day is that um, it consumes your thoughts all day long, right? You're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to eat a gross, disgusting frog tonight. I can't get out of it. I have to eat it. Um, we all have things in our business that are like the frog. Okay. For a lot of us, it's inviting. I'll just say it. That's sometimes my biggest frog is not necessarily my posts that I post on my wall and things like that, but the actual nitty gritty, someone I've just become friends with or reconnected with sending them that invite being scared that they, they don't want to see it from me. Um, that can be my frog a lot of times. But that is the thing that's going to move my business forward. And instead of waiting till the end of the day or the end of your work hour or whenever it is, if you tackle that at the beginning, then not only do you not have to think about that for the rest of your day, but you just, you, you, there's going to be a skip in your step. You know, you are going to be like, all right, I just accomplished like the hardest thing I have to do today. So bring it on day. Okay. And that has been a big thing for me because um, invites I'm a little bit better at, but sometimes it's like that coach you need to call and give some tough love to you, or it's, um, you know, whatever it, it is, everybody has a frog. So decide what yours is and stick it to the top of your list. Make it the priority. And then once you've done that, you're like, you know what? I'm going to eat a second frog. Double those invites, whatever. You get the idea, Okay. The last thing that I wanted to touch on is being a team and using your team, utilizing your team. The best part about this business and the reason why I can make this truly work with children is that I don't have to invent anything. I don't have to invent a training. I don't have to invent the way challenge groups work. I don't have to invent anything. I can tweak it. I can make it my own. I can give my own voice to things, but I don't have to do any of that all by myself. And back to the picture that I have on the screen, originally when I first started coaching and I brought in one of my very first beautiful diamonds, Kimberly Barrow, um, we were trying to run our own team pages and our own personally sponsored pages and trying to do all those things. And we decided that, you know, together we were going to be stronger. We were like, how can we make this truly duplicatable for that mom that really can't give a lot of time to the team building part? We want you to spend your time um recruiting and meeting people and spreading the word you know and getting it out there and changing i would love to just hang out with my challengers all day long if i could for reals but i can't so um but when you have a team when you can work together that's awesome so just really quick a little bit about what we do is we once you become a diamond on our team, you have the opportunity, you're not forced, but you have the opportunity to take part in the leadership aspects of running a team page. And that includes running, hosting the team calls and doing shout outs and um, making sure you get all the reminders, anything that's important we feel that comes, trickles down from bombshell gets in there. Um, it's been great. Like tomorrow I'm hosting the team call, but I haven't done that in six weeks. And those are those are people I care about. I get on the team call, but I don't have to like worry about it. Um, like I would if I was on my own. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I can't actually see any comments, but I hope it does. The biggest thing that I can say uh, out of all of this is, you know, once you know your goals and everything, decide what you can consistently do every single day. And it's going to look different than other coaches. It is. You have to be okay with that. You have to be okay if it's going to take you five years. You have to be okay. Um, you can be – you You do what you have to do. But you decide what you can be consistent at because it's not enough to show up one day a week. You have to show up every single day. But you don't have to show up doing ten invites every single day. You can be like, you know what? I can't do five invites a day, but I bet I could do three a day. And there you go. And you'll go through seasons. There are seasons where I have a little bit more time. 
and um, then I can up those. And then there are seasons where I have to pull it back a little bit, and that's okay. It is. It's okay. It's it's totally what you can do, but make sure you know you. So make sure that at the end of the day that you actually did do what you could do that day. And don't use other things as an excuse because you remember you decided at the beginning that um, it's worth it to you. It's worth it to your family. So don't use work as an excuse with your family and don't use family as an excuse with your work. Um, also, lastly, what I want to leave you guys with is the biggest key for me is, wow, I have a lot of big moments, don't I? But um, my last final big key is to be honest about your goals, to be honest with your coaches and your team and your challengers about your time so that they know. My challengers know that I am in there in the morning and I'm in the night. And sometimes I can get in there during the day. They can rely on me then and then. My personally sponsored coaches know that if they get a hold of me, I will get back to them that day, but it's not going to be right away. It's not going to be while I'm trying to do on other, deal with other things. It's going to be when I have set that specific time to get back to them. It doesn't mean that there's not things that come up and, and that's okay, but just be honest with who you are. And at the end of the day, like I said, I am so completely flawed and yet I learned to make this work just by showing up every day. And I remember when I would talk about my dreams with Brigitte and she would say, you can do this and it will happen and this will happen. And I thought, I don't know, but I'm just going to keep going anyway. And I really appreciated her belief in me. I appreciated reading and diving into my personal development so that I could believe in me and make it work. And you guys can too. And so I hope, I hope that helps. I'm going to shrink this down in case actually I'm not even sure how to shrink this down. So, well, really, um, what? Shrink. See how you don't have to be perfect and you can, um, still make this business work. Let's see, Sean, I don't know if you have the ability to hop on. Okay, restore. There we go. So, <laughs> all right, there you go. Go for it, guys. That's my bottom right, line. Go. go for it, guys. Okay, so I think you just need to hit stop broadcasting. There we go. Um, wow, fantastic. Um, I just want to reiterate a couple of things that she said there. Thank you so much, Amber, because not only did I learn something like right now, um, but I'm also going to listen to the call again because there's a few things that I want to write down that I didn't write down. But um, a couple of key points I want to take from that. First is be present. It's funny that she brought that up because I was just talking to Tara today about it, that I was feeling guilty about uh, working out and I was ending my workouts quicker um, because I felt I needed to be upstairs um, with her and the kids. I was also feeling that you know, I could have spent a little more time at the end of the day um, working, but I wanted to make sure I was going to sleep at the same time she was. Um, now, what hit me there with, with what she said was it's because I was feeling guilty that I wasn't present for the rest of the day. And, and I hate to say it, we're all learning from it, but I wasn't present for the rest of the day which is why I was feeling guilty working out, which is why I was feeling guilty of wanting to work the business. Um, so that was huge. That's a huge, huge, huge takeaway for me. Thank you so much, Amber. I'm definitely going to listen to this call again because you had so much insight. Um, can everybody hear me okay? Everything good? Yes? Okay, perfect. Um, and then another thing that I just want to touch base on right at the end when she was talking about being a team, this is something I've never thought about. So when you guys hit diamond and all of you will make sure you use this, empower your team, empower your team to do the team calls. Um, I'll be honest, my team doesn't do team calls all the time because I just didn't have time to put it together all the time. But why, why should I have to, right? I've got other leaders on the team and I have to be able to trust and empower them to do that you know that's how they're gonna grow right um and so that was a big key, key a big takeaway for for myself also amber thank you um because i never thought of it that way you know, and you look back and you look at scotty well he's doing it he's doing it with us we're on here doing this call and it never clicked that way right 
he's empowering us to teach you. And at the same time, we're getting better at what we're doing so we can teach our team. So that, that being said, you will, guys will get there. You guys are all here to, uh, to do something in the next 60 days. Um, and now I get to talk. Um, so now that that's out of the way, time manager part, I'm excited to start talking. And the reason, but before I even get there, I got a question. And I want you guys to answer in the chat uh, below. The serious question is, how many of you want to become Diamond in 60 days? I want to see a yes in that chat. Go. Gritty, gritty stuff comes in.
Okay, I'm going to jump on here for just a minute while Sean is going to see if he can jump off and jump back in. I'm sorry that you guys can't see me. I'm trying to think of just something amazingly brilliant to share with you. Um, and I want you guys to type to me, except that means that maybe we'll mess up the feed to going after him. So um, let's see. Let me just give him one second to see. Let's see, forming, LOL, okay, and my why. Okay, I like both of those. Okay, so forming. Um, it's actually not too hard for me to get to know people because I just have like this tendency to really like getting to know people in my pajamas on my computer. It's way easier for me than in person. So I definitely, uh, when it comes to forming, I just, I will add them as a friend. I usually, actually right now I've been doing it a lot through Facebook groups. So I'll join a group on mommies uh, with other moms. I'll join a group for um, homeschooling, which is what I do. And then, you know, reach out to those people. Oh my gosh, I think he's back. Okay, I'm gonna stop broadcasting. Okay, thank you for staying. And I'm sorry I got you guys to blow this shit up. <laughs> It just got real. Can you guys hear me right now? We got to get rocking. I want to get you guys out of here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. You guys blew it up for like 10 minutes and I apologize. So don't answer any of my questions. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know where to go for now. Okay. So I'm not even going to ask how many people want to hit nine minutes in 60 days because we already got that answer. I don't want to hear it again. Okay. Um, but I am excited to teach you guys about something, and it's going to help you guys hit diamond in 60 days. And it's all about sacrifices, okay? Um, everything you do from now to day 60 is all about sacrifices, okay? Um, I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. And again, we're going to get this done quick because I know we're running out of time with you guys. But um, So for those that don't know me, my name is Sean Borgigno. I'm one of Scotty's top male coaches. Um, I'm a two-star diamond as well as almost diamond in my second business center. I'm a success club 10 all-star, which means over the last 12 months, I have hit success club 10 every month. Um, and one of my highest months was over 40 with about 40 success club points. Um, I'm a top beach body coach in Canada and the U S now you're probably wondering why. Okay. Why is he telling us this? It might sound like bragging, but it's not really bragging. You need to know this. So I can tell you about the next part of my life, okay? Um, it, it's reality. Now, here, here are some things that you guys might not know about me. I'm a city worker. I work from 7 in the morning, 7 a.m. to 3.30 uh, p.m., Monday, Fridays. And that's if I don't have overtime. Um, recently, I had hip surgery, so I was off a little while. But my business driving happened when I was doing those full-time hours. Um, I was also working a ton of overtime uh, Saturdays late nights, um, sometimes overnights. Um, so it was quite a bit, a bit of overtime. On top of that, I'm a nightclub DJ. So consistently I'm doing three nights a week, but there are times that I do five nights a week. So I am working a full-time city job with some overtime and I'm working a second full-time job at nighttime pretty much. It's, uh, I start that shift at 10 p.m. and I go until 2.30 a.m. Um, so Sundays, um, for example, like tonight, uh, this is one of my sacrifices was usually I'd be sleeping. Um, I only got a little bit of a nap in today because I work until two 30 and then I'm up again at about six to tomorrow morning to go back to work for seven. Okay. Um, so you guys kind of see how my schedule is, but on top of that, uh, I'm, I'm also a father of four amazing kids. I have Jaden who's 15, who doesn't live with us. Um, my daughter, Destiny's nine, my son, Chase is seven, and my little baby girl, Shy, is 14 months now. Um, it's been a crazy year. Um, I, have a, I have a fiance, Tara. She's supported me for the last two years with everything I've done. Um, I have personally lost over 55 pounds, and I have three instructor certifications. So that's a little bit about me. Now, I asked you before, and I don't want you guys to chat it out, okay? Um, but you guys are here to hit diamond in 60 days. And Scotty said, when I told Scotty I couldn't do the call and time management, he said, Sean, you have to do the call and sacrifices. And the reason for that is because, and if you do work more than me, I don't take this the wrong way, 
but not a lot of people work or are as busy as I am. And I am still pounding it out in this business and I'm still doing very, very well in this business. Um, so he said, Sean, people need to hear what your approach is and, and, and why you're successful. And, and here it is. It's plain and simple. It's sacrifices. That's it. And there's no bullshit. None. You either do it or you don't do it. But only you can make that decision. Now, I want to quote. I, I did a little bit of research because I needed to pull from a whole bit of different areas, including my own, on what sacrifices are all about. I want to quote Caleb Thomas right now. Um, because he actually said it best. So you just signed up uh, as a beach body coach and gumdrops fall from the heavens and angels whisk you off your feet and dance you with you in cotton candy clouds. Um, no, actually, when you first start, beach body coaching sucks. And that's the truth. At least it did for a lot of us. I know it did for me my first year. Um, I didn't do much with it, right? Um, but not a lot of our leaders are bold enough to vocalize that. Um, they're scared of freaking people out and turning them away. And I'm just going to tell you guys that you need to understand something. Find convenience, rewards, and blessings, and freedoms. Come after you make those upfront sacrifices and put your nose to the grindstone. Okay? Um, now, that was quoted by Caleb Thomas. Thank you for that, Caleb. Um, he put it fantastically. Okay? I'm at a point right now that I'm starting to see some, some success. A lot of our top leaders, um, like Gina and Brigitte, they, they, they've seen the success, right? But they don't get there without going through stuff in their lives. Okay, they've all, you, you've, you've heard Gina, you've heard Brigitte, um, and you're going to hear many other amazing coaches. But I tell you what, every one of us have struggles. Every one of us have something that we're dealing with. Every one of us are learning from these calls just as much as you guys are learning from these calls. Um, what it really takes is you guys looking at your goals and how fast you want to get there. Like Amber was saying, how fast do you guys want to hit it? Um, all of you are here and you paid to be here. So I know you're serious about growing not only yourself, but your business as fast as you can. Some of you want to be at home for your kids because all you do is work. I want to be here for my kids because all I do is work and I'm tired of it, right? That is my why. I bust my butt on the outside to be here for my kids in the future. Um, and I'm going to get more into that in a little bit. Um, uh, so you guys got to remember, I've been doing this for 18 years. I've been working two jobs for 18 years. Um, I'd like to have my weekends free with my family. Uh, not having Friday nights and Saturday nights off sucks when I can be having a quiet movie night with my kids um, or having date nights with Tara. Um, some of you want to are in this business because you want to bring your spouse home, right? Like Scotty. Scotty wanted to bring Gabby home. That was his big goal. And uh, with, with some sacrifices and consistently, he did that. Uh, some of you have student loans you want to pay off. Some of you just want extra money for um, vacations and so forth. You guys can have all that, but it's going to take some short-term sacrifices for you guys to get there. Um, I promise you this. If you sacrifice a few things now, you will achieve everything your heart desires in the future. One thing that uh, you can see that I sacrifice is sleep. And I sacrifice that before Beachbody even begins. I don't sleep the normal eight to nine hours like a lot of people do. Um, again, I'm not judging your life. Don't get me wrong. Everybody's different. Um, but the average person sleeps seven to nine hours. And when I'm going, I don't get that very often. Um, yes, I, there are days that I do get that. Um, but even on the weekends when Tara is letting me sleep in, I'm, I'm still up at eight o'clock. Um, nine, probably the latest. Um, sorry, I'm reading off my, off my sheet because I kind of wrote everything down for you guys. Um, But one, one thing we do all have, we all have the same amount of time. You, me, Scotty, everybody has the same amount of time. Next sacrifice is your time. Now, let me break this down for you because everyone says, I don't have time. And if you guys listen to the national wake-up call that just happened with uh, Summer Tucker, um, which I actually listen to on my drive to and from work, I can listen to half of it on the way there and the rest of it on the way back. And that's how I was able to listen to the national wake up call because I can't do it at eight o'clock in the morning because I'm working. Um, but I sacrificed some time to be able to, to listen to that call. And 
when I could be listening to music. Now, this is how she broke it down, and, I, and it really broke things up for me too. So let me explain this to you. There are seven days in a week, okay? Everybody has seven days a week. It doesn't matter who you are. Everybody has that. Everybody has 168 hours in a week. Everybody has the same amount of time, okay? Nobody can say I don't have that much time. Everybody starts with 168 hours of time, okay? Um, so let's just say we all sleep for eight hours a day. That's 56 hours that leave you with 112 hours left. Um, a lot of you say, okay, but I work a full-time job. Fantastic. Okay, so let's even include a little bit of overtime. That's 48 hours a week that you sit down um, and you prior prioritize your, your work life, okay? Now, let's say you sit down and you eat slowly with your family because you want to spend some time with them during dinner and so forth. Um, let's give you an extra 12 hours. Okay, for the week to, to be able to spend that quality dinner time with you, with your kids, uh, your spouse. Um, that still leaves you with 52 hours. Okay, let's talk about um, you got to get your kids places. You got to go grocery shopping. Uh, you got to get all your errands done. Let's give you another 12 hours for the week. Okay, that leaves you 40 hours. Can you guys build your dream in 40 hours a week? If you put your mind to it, can you build your dreams on 40 hours? Okay. Um, this is something you guys need to put into perspective and you really need to break down your times in the day. And that's why we have this call to back to back is because it's all about time management. Um, and mine is sacrificing. You have to sacrifice the certain things in your life that can give you that little bit of time. Right. Um, I know you can because if you own your time, especially the training you just got from time management and having to um, having your priority in line with your goals, there's going to be some things that you want to give up. What do you need to sacrifice? Only you know your life. Um, you know what you can do to sacrifice a little bit of time. You Only you can tell you that. I can't tell you that. Scotty can't tell you that. You have to dig deep and look at your life and see where you want to be. I'm going to give you a few examples, though, and you can see if you relate to it or not. Um, if, not if you're not where you want to be, you may want to stay up an hour later or even wake up an hour earlier. Yes, it sucks. Waking up 4 a.m. or 4.30 sucks. I've been trying to do it all week. Um, but you get tired and you just don't know. You hit snooze 20 times. I know I've done it. I set it. I set my alarm clock for 4.30 every day and I hit snooze 10 times. So if you do that over eight, eight minutes a shot, you see what time I get out of bed. Um, uh, so yeah, I try, to, I try to be downstairs. I try to get a workout first thing in the morning um, to get myself going. Um, and then I want to do the 10 things that you're supposed to do every day before I, get, before I even walk out, of, out the door. Right. So you got your 10 to do list that you can do first thing in the morning and even your workout. If it's a 30 minute workout, you can pound that out all in the first hour that you wake up earlier in the day. Right. Also, take a look at how much TV you guys watch. Do you sit in front of the TV and just gaze and channel surf? Um, that's time you guys can use to work your business and send out those 10 extra invites. We watch uh, Bachelor in Paradise. Sunday nights, it's a two hour show. Monday night's an hour show with after the rose or whatever you call it. Right. Um, that's time you can be sitting there and doing invites. That's time you guys can be forming, um, with your customers. Again, only you guys know the sacrifices you can make to make your business work, but don't let time tell you that you can't do it because it's you that can't do it. You need to decide it's either a or it's B. And, and like I said before, it's no bullshit. If you guys want to be six, you guys want to be diamond in 60 days. Um, that's what you got to do. Your short term sacrifices will get you to your goals. Um, so again, uh, those 10 extra invites, 10 extra invites a day is 300 people uh, a month, 900 people in three months, which turn into many challengers coaches in the upcoming months. Um, it's a compound effect. If you haven't read the compound effect, read it because it talks about doing small things at a time leads into big things, right? So you might not think those extra two, three invites a day matter, but you're sacrificing that time to get those two to three invites out a day that adds up and it might not come to you today, but I guarantee in two to three months, you're going to see people come out of your woodwork 
and that's when your built your your business explodes. Okay, uh, people always ask me because I make time for not people that are not even on my team. I make that sacrifice to help Scotty's team as well. You guys know who you are. You all reach out to me, and we all talk about your business. Um, and it's just a matter of doing it. It's just you gotta get out and do those little extra things. Um, look at your social time. How much are you guys going out shopping? Going out for drinks with your girlfriends, going to movies. Now, is that something that you can cut back on? I'm not saying give up your whole life, right? I'm not saying that. But right now, you have 60 days, right? Can you guys put full focus into your Beachbody business that you guys have all signed up for because you love to change lives, you're changing your own life, um, and you've committed to 60 days? Can you guys commit to 60 days, right? That's where you guys need to decide, am I willing to make that sacrifice for the next, it's not even 60 days anymore, right? We're a week in. Um, so can you guys sacrifice 53, 53 more days to get to where you guys want to go? Um, do you read Pointless Magazines, right? Do you read Men's Health? Um, do you read anything else? That's something that you could be taking the time to, you might be flipping through it, but that could have been your 10 pages of personal development, right? We, we preach and we talk personal development, but if you talk to every coach out there that has been through a struggle, they will tell you personal development have pulled them out of it. Okay. I did. It, it's happened to me. I went through a huge insecurity and, and, and self-confidence issue a year ago. And it took me three months to get out of it. When Cheyenne was uh, still in Tara's stomach, I was going through the insecurities and the self-confidence, but I, I listened to personal development every day. Um, again, I couldn't read, so I plugged the headphones in, and that's what I did all day for, for three months straight, and I got out of it. I got into the positive mindset, and I started rocking everything again. Um, and, and like Amber was saying, sacrifice your Facebook time. Don't sit there and constantly check your notifications. Turn them off. Um, if you can find that app that she was talking about, do it. Get rid of the news feed. Block off and focus your one hour of time. If that's all you can do is an hour, then just do the hour. If you can only do 30 minutes, then only do 30 minutes. If you're going to block off three hours, then block off three hours to do your business. Um, maybe you belong to a sports team. Um, is it more important than achieving your goals? For example, like Scotty, he always says he loves, loves softball, but he gave it up, right, to focus on his goal of bringing Gabby home. Now look at him. The guy can play softball whenever he wants, right? He can take his kids to the cabin to give Gabby and, and Malik uh, some time alone, right? He wouldn't have been able to do that four years ago. There's no way in, a, in the world he would have been able to do that because he'd still be working 15 hours, right? But he decided. Um, and so going back to turn off your radio to and from work. Most people commute 25 minutes in the day. Um, that's 25 minutes of personal development, personal audio you guys can listen to. Um, it's very simple. You can listen to your podcast. You can listen up to national wake up calls. Um, YouTube channels. You can even listen to these calls if you wanted to, because Scotty puts them on his page. Um, when you're working out, you can listen to personal development or watch a webinar. Um, that's how I caught up on Brigitte's. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't watch it at the time. Um, but I was working out and that's when I was, I was watching it and listening to it. I had it on my laptop right beside my, my TV. Um, I can go on and on about the sacrifices, but bottom line, only you know what you can sacrifice. Um, again, no bullshit. Sit down, write yours today. Break it down from watching soap operas to running your kids to gymnastics. Find out what you can sacrifice in your day and take the time to build your business. Jim Carrey said it best, okay? Um, I was listening to a podcast just the other day. Um, and he had a goal of hitting $10 million in three years. Um, and he did it. But you can't write down your goal and then go eat a sandwich. It doesn't work that way. You have to write out your goal and you have to work every day towards that goal. You have to make your sacrifices. You have to be consistent. Again, if you choose to only work 30 minutes a day, Make sure those are the strongest 30 minutes of your day. Make it work related, not Facebook scrolling. Okay. Um, if you're going to do an hour, then do the hour. If you're going to do two, do two. If you can do an hour in the morning, an hour at night, do whatever you can do. I'm not saying you have to do this eight hours a day. Okay. Um, I've done it. I've done it eight hours a day. I was always on my phone. 
I was always answering and, and um, messaging challengers. If a coach was reaching out, I was reaching out within seconds. You can ask any of my team. If they reach out to me, um, I would, within 10 minutes, I'd have their answer for them, right? Um, you have to learn to say no. Um, and I had a hard time doing that. Um, but let me tell you something. With sacrifices, if I can do it on my time schedule, guys, you guys can do it. I believe in every one of you guys. You guys are here for a reason. You guys have paid for this training. You have some amazing top coaches that are going to be speaking to you over the next six weeks. Um, but if you don't make the sacrifices, none of it's going to mean anything because you're not going to put it into place to make it happen. You have to listen to the call and you have to put it into words um, and you have to put it into action. You have to make it happen. Okay. Um, but only you can decide that. We're not going to push you to do that right? We're going to, we're going to inspire you. We're going to motivate you and we will help you any way we can, but we can't make those sacrifices. Um, if you make those sacrifices, you guys will hit your goals and dreams. I know I'm destined for big things. I know where I'm going to be in three years. I have no doubt in my mind. Okay. But one thing, the last thing I want to talk about, then we're going to let you guys go. I'm sorry. This took a little bit longer. Um, something you never want to sacrifice. I don't care how much this business takes or how many hours you work it, uh, how in focus, how focused or involved you are with achieving your goals. One thing you never want to sacrifice guys is your family. Never. <sighs> Sorry. Take the time for your kids. And that's like Amber said, put your phone away. You, you guys might not understand it right now, because you're getting into it, it's exciting, and I'm not doing this to scare you. Put your phone away. Put your laptop away and focus on your family. <sighs> this sucks. Okay, take the time for your kids, take the time for your spouse, put all that stuff away, because let me tell you, when you do achieve all your goals and your dreams, and I know you will, you don't want to be there alone. You want to have them there for you. Okay, you can't do that if you are 1,000% into the business. Today, Tara posted the song with a story cheerleader. You guys don't know the story behind it. But that guy that, that sang that song, eight years ago he wrote the song, or six years ago he wrote that song. Um, and it was never played on the radio, never made it. Actually, the record company threw it away. Um, it was his girlfriend, his present girlfriend that said, I know a DJ. I'm going to get the DJ to listen to it. The DJ um, was actually the remixer that did their new remix for it, brought it to the record studio six to eight years later. It's now one of the top hits in the U.S. and Canada. Um, so never give up. But remember, your spouse is your cheerleader. If you're going to make sacrifices, make sure you guys are talking to them about everything. Communicate it. Um, because without them... The, the business doesn't mean anything, right? Because you're, a lot of people's whys is for their family. Um, so you guys have to realize, make a lot of sacrifices, but choose your sacrifices. Choose your sacrifices wisely and talk about and communicate everything that you're going to do with your spouse. Um, if you guys make your small sacrifices, I guarantee every one of you guys will be diamond in 60 days and I will high five every one of you when we go to summit next year. Because I'm proud of you. I'm proud of that you guys are already in this group. I'm proud that you guys are going to take these steps into action. I'm, I'm proud that you guys stuck through. We still got 100 people in this, in this group. And even though we had 10 minutes of airtime, you guys still wanted to hear what I had to say. So I, I hope I hit it on the head for you guys. Um, sacrifice. Find out what you can do. Put every little effort that you can into it. If it's small things, that's fine because small things lead into big dreams, guys. It's all about the compound effect. If I can do it on my schedule, you guys can do it on your schedule, um, but only you guys know your life. Um, that's it. Sacrifice, but communi communication is the key. All of you rock it. All of you rock this training in the next six weeks. Uh, reach out to your coaches. Reach out to your upline. Um, send me a message if you need help. Um, I will get to your message. It may not be in 10 minutes, but I'll get to your message. Okay. Um, other than that guys, thank you for sticking around. I hope we made a difference today. I hope you guys are fired up. I hope you guys are excited. Um, this call is all done.
Uh, thanks, guys.